Right, I'm in the Cotswolds, but don't worry, I've um, something exciting to arrive at the yard. So there's a video of that at the end, but first you're just gonna have to see what I've got up to in the Cotswolds. Ooh, look at that. It's that island as well. This is a lower farm, upper slaughter. There's a little ford over there as well. Just the river. This is the barn. Love it when you can see the beams. Kitchen looks pretty tricking blue. And uh, the bathroom. They've got an amazing picture there of me. And then got the bedroom. Can you see the beams? Going, James. Let me check the Ford out. I oh, know it's a BN. How deep it is. Not that deep. It's at Dalesford Farm Shop, which is owned by the JCB family. Look at all the conkers on the floor. It's hundreds of them. Take some back and paint and plant them. The, uh, they'll be expensive ones up here. Loads. It's a nice tree. Look at that, James. Three and a half grand. Dog having a pee, 850 quid. Just at Burton on the water now at the model village, so we're going to have a look at this. Just been to see this guy, but because he's under contract to Amazon, couldn't, couldn't really film it because he's not allowed to be on other people's shows. This is the uh, model village sponsored by Holland Cooper. <laughs> They're even too small for you, aren't they? To be confused. I need to put some gravel in the bottom of the stream to make it look more realistic. Little mini trees. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> Charlotte Stroke in the bush. Chinese restaurant. So that one's got little railings around it. That's a new build. That one's got a little wall around it. Sandstone wall. Same size as me boot. That was like a little water wheel. And the motor museum. It's a model of a church. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Detail in it. James for scale. Never thought I ever wanted a model of a church, but that is one of the coolest things that I've ever seen. Oh, new build. The tractors.
don't know why, but these ones have got mesh over them. I don't know whether it's because the birds have been eating the roof or something. Maybe they have pigeon problems here as well. Eating the plants. But they're in a cage. Some like really tiny ones there. Does anyone know what they cut the grass with? Because it's so small. So this is where you go in the model village, in the real village. Then, at the back, is a model village with a model of the village again, which has then got another model village within it. So this is a replica of this. <laughs> it's well clever. Yeah, yeah. So that is the model village in the model village of the model village, if that makes sense. Look at the colours of the trees. Look at that, Kingfisher. Don't know what it's eating. Oh, it's a fish, it's wobbling in its mouth, isn't it? Was it standing? Did it eat a fish? We're just in a cafe by the motor museum. That was a kingfisher, probably the most good looking bird you can ever get after Charlotte. Go on then, stand next to it for scale. <laughs> it's a mini, it's the uh, motor museum. Smells lovely. <laughs> A lot of old cars. A bit before my time, really. There's Brum that was filmed around here. Randomly, it's its uh, 31st birthday today. There's a really old engine before they put overhead valves in them. Now we're talking. The tractor. Should be a big one arriving at our yard in a minute. This is a little bit spooky because these things move. Ooh, this is scary. That might be what they cut the grass with at the uh, Marble Village. It's tiny. It's like an eight-inch miller. It's a Morgan, like what the guy that has the garage up the road from us races. Three-wheeler. Two at the front, one at the back. This is um, Radio Caroline, it used to be broadcast from a boat in the middle of the sea so that it couldn't be shut down because it was known as a pirate radio show. Don't know why it's in a motor museum, but it's here. And that's a piston out of the engine in one of the generators off it. That Meccano plane, I think my dad had that kit and I had it when I was little. Some stuff in here. That's enough of the car museum. Anyway, something big has arrived at the yard and Rob and Joe have got some video footage of it. Here it is.
the tractor pulling tight. Stick a four year old. Right, James is going to help with the birthday bumper. Um, only three today. Obviously, I'm on holiday, so I'm reading my Charlotte's phone. So it's Phil Johnson's 49. Happy birthday. Nick Larder is 55. Happy birthday to him. And Kung Fu Panda's birthday was on Saturday. So I'm not sure who that is, but happy birthday. So you're going to say smile. No, he's not. Anyway, that is all for today. Thanks for watching. Sorry that the footage was on WhatsApp of the Zero and arriving, but... Um, the lads couldn't work out to work we transfer but it's good that they got a video of it arriving anyway I'm going to the Valtra Q series launch tomorrow so there'll be more tractor content tomorrow sorry you have to endure the holiday stuff but that's just what we're doing so see you tomorrow